We are Ruben, and my name is a guy. I'm Jamie, and I don't have a cup of tea because it was made incorrectly. Is he making me another one? No. Made incorrectly? Oh, I'll make him incorrectly. Where's incorrectly? <laughs> I might have shown I've got a cup of tea. How did the band form? Uh, the band form? Oh my god. Uh, when a man know. and a woman love each other very much, <laughs> a special cuddle. Um, um, each of our parents had one of these special cuddles. And then about 14, 15 years later, I met Jamie. And uh, we uh, made a band, and we had loads of different people in the band. We had keyboard players, guitar players, drummers. One of them, the keyboard player, was me in the future. No, he was me in the past. Yeah, you in the past, yeah. 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 And, um, um, and we settled on a lineup of just the three piece because we wanted to rip off Nirvana, as we still do. And, uh, and we had this one drummer, and, and then we got rid of him and got another drummer. And then he went to Canada, and then Guy, we were like, Guy, do you want to join our band for six months? He was like, yo, he came back. And then because of Guy's awesome talent, uh, Mark felt that perhaps he didn't want to do it anymore. So we said, Guy, do you want to do it full time? Guy was like, yes. And unfortunately, <laughs> Guy's been in our band for about six years now. Uh, how's the tour going so far? <laughs> So all right, we had a bit of trouble when our stereo broke and we couldn't watch any telly, that was bad. <laughs> then me and Guy were watching Laugh with Brian with just the subtitles on, which doesn't work we, because... You were of, all laughing though. No, but, the, but the, in the scene where, like, uh, Caesar, where his name is, Carpen out his arts, it's very funny because he goes, Roger the Rapist! And everyone goes, hoo, 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 hoo. But the subtitle just said, Roger the Rapist. So I was, <laughs> like, so I was like, ah! And Guy was like, this is rubbish. I wasn't this is rubbish, I thought it was brilliant. I've seen it before. Like, Have you seen it before? Life of Brian, how was it fucking Life of Brian? This is your house. <laughs> this is my face. You guys aren't exactly the first band that comes to mind when supporting in a band like Sum 41. We how are the first band, did the How did the tour uh, come about and how have the fans been reacting? Uh, the set up. Uh, we toured with Billy Talent uh, many years ago, two years ago now in fact, and uh, they share the same management as um, these guys. Uh, I think anyone from Canada has the same management as each other to be honest, so we're hoping for the Celine Dion tour next. But, uh, it's been alright. <laughs> Fingers crossed well, for Sammy. Uh, yes. <laughs> What has been your worst gig experience? Ever. Ever. Uh, I fell on my head once in that school hall, that was pretty bad. <laughs> that was amazing though. We did a battle of the bands and uh, Jamie went arse over monitor and whilst trying to do a solo. Oh, I think I was trying to do a solo. It was the yeah, funniest thing I like. And then I, I had to spend the rest of it because then my guitar strap fell off and someone came running out because we were just on the floor and I thought oh, I was going to help him on the guitar strap but actually just straightened the monitor on the floor and then ran away again. So instead of singing the rest of the song I just said I am the captain again and again and again. <laughs> and I just <laughs> and it was amazing. But we won, we got we won, through. And that, that money went to recording Pilot which we still sell on the road today. And the audience was all kids, they were like 10 years yeah, old. Yeah, they voted we, for us so they knew that that was the top shop I think, and everything. I think it was your dive. Which, I think it was which, the comedy that got us through yeah. the paper pilot. But, uh, my, my worst experience was when we played with uh, Underskin, local heroes, and uh, we played at uh, Leisure Centre in Crawley yeah. or somewhere. And we all turned up and there was like six chairs. And, <laughs> no, like, like four chairs, four chairs, four chairs. And like, like in the cinema and you just sit and watch the other bands. And the only people there were the other bands. But don't you remember those kids that had just finished swimming and were waiting to be picked up oh, by yeah. their mum? <laughs> <laughs> Taking the piss out of us, yeah. hardcore. I felt intimidated because they had like their swimming bags and their hair was all wet, waiting to be picked up by mum. They're like, <laughs> I was still oh, in the womb at this point. I don't know. Uh, no, I was in the womb. What's, <laughs> your, what's your worst gig experience, guy? 
Um, was it when you carried on playing Crimson for like two minutes after we'd finished? That was my fucking game? prime time. I was like, this is just me now, baby. This is limelight. Uh, worst gig experience was probably playing the Fibbers in New York because it got so hot, I felt like blacking out. And uh, I just remember it being sh fucking shocking. I hated that gig. Didn't you know, that's pretty much it. It was just so fucking hot. <laughs> You released your third album in Nothing We Trust last year, your first record on your own label. How did your own label start? Actually, our first record on our own label was Blood Bunny and Art Cool. Before but, that, it was a new No, okay, well, no. But if you mean the record, is it an album then, yeah. But, no, hold on though, because uh, I think of the DVD as an album of I'm sorts. like a spanner in the works. Because, <laughs> because really, it's like a visual album, because it's just as much about the creative process, because the subject matter of our music albums are always our day-to-day -day lives. And, and so when we made the film, I, that's about our data the lives as well. And it's kind of the same length. I think, I think that DVD should be called an album. That's well, the album. So how did the label start? Well, basically, we couldn't get a deal. Uh, we've tried for about 20 years to get a record deal. <laughs> The only people that want to sign us are like, yeah, I don't really have a label, but I was thinking about investing £12 into making a label. We're like, it's tempting. But we looked at our funds and we realised we could afford about £14. So we decided that we'd do it ourselves. Cool. Why not? Why not? <laughs> What was your highlight of 2007? Uh, being asked to play the main stage at Download Festival, I think. Yeah, I don't think it was my highlight, yeah. playing, but it was definitely my highlight being asked to play. Yeah, I'll agree with that. I liked that. I, when did we get asked to play with the President of the United States? Because that's the good thing about that. 2005, I think. Is, is, like, <laughs> it's, okay. it's all the best part about it is, is you know you're going to do it, but it's like you can just sit there and accept it, but you don't have to do anything. My favourite part of 2007 was driving up to the security at Download and the big twat with the, the fucking bicycle shirt on goes, it was stage mate! And here in town go, main stage. I was like... He <laughs> <laughs> didn't say, 10 in the morning on a Sunday when no one would be there, otherwise I would have been like... Yeah, but when we arrive on Saturday, they... they... There's always a mess up, and there's always this really watertight security, you can't get anywhere. And uh, by accident they dropped us off backstage, the main stage, while Slayer were playing. Slayer! And we were just like, whoa. The sort of at the side of the stage, which is Slayer, and we, we kind of went out, and it just looked, Slayer were like little ants, and we were like, this is going to be amazing. And it was alright. <laughs> Are there any new up and coming bands you think we should watch out for? Yeah, there's a band called Chris, what are you doing to my guest today? Uh, Chris, what are you doing to my guest Well, today? see, that one was ripped and this one's coming off, so I redo it occasionally. Usually you don't notice. Because <laughs> 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 I'm doing it in front of your face. Oh, right, I'll do it in front of your face. Um, <laughs> there, are, there are no new bands apart from Baddies. That's the yeah, best it's all, all, all the best days. bands split up. Yeah. It's a bit like, what? Why? What's next for Ruben in 2008? Uh, a headline tour in April. And then a German Eastwick. tour. German tour in May. In May. Imagine if we don't think more than three months ahead or we go blind. <laughs> Not that we're going to go blind in three months, we haven't got it booked in. <laughs> 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 Uh, 
Uh, I hear you guys are still in full time jobs. Is this true? Uh, yeah. No, actually, um, me and guys part time. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's yeah, true. I suppose you are part time. Yeah. I might do full time hours, but it's still technically part time. I've got a proper a full time. I stepped up. I made. I made up. I made up. Uh, is it hard managing work with a successful band? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm so fucking a successful band. Is it hard managing work with a semi successful band? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It is, yeah. It is, yeah. yeah. Anybody got worse, really bad habits? I don't think anyone has any actually no, bad not habits. Not real bad habits, we're all great on each other. I like to go like this. He loves it. <laughs> but he's aware, and that's what I like. That is good. Guys generally very slow. Oh, I'm yeah. a bad habit. If there was guy a fire, a guy would be the person I'd like to be stuck behind least. If it was a little old woman that couldn't walk, I'd rather be behind her because she'd probably try to get out quicker. Yeah. Guy would be like, right, oh, check up. She <laughs> wouldn't fold up her clothes first. <laughs> she wouldn't make sure they're in the right pocket of yeah. her bag. She wouldn't alphabetise her mini discs. She'd just get the fuck out. <laughs> but when it comes <laughs> to the fire. Come the on, guy! I'm going back in front! <laughs> we'd be like, no, nah, don't. He's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> be like, He's that? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I like things to be alphabetical and numerical. <laughs> but you've got weird alphabetical eyes in the association system, haven't you? And then numerical. It goes the wrong way around, doesn't it? It's like A there. Yeah, but that's because it started that way, but then it went, move my room round, so I moved it round yeah. and had to reverse it. So it Does it not like, blow your mind every time you look at it? No, it's like a little puzzle. We go, <laughs> oh, it's backwards! <laughs> and upside down! <laughs> Where do you see yourself in five years' time? He'll still be looking at his CD record. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, be from, I'll be in Reuben, but there won't be any other original members. It'll be me and like two other geezers touring pubs in the UK. And it'll be like posters <laughs> saying, Reuben, featuring original bassist John Pierce. And it'll be like four people turning up in like, like, like ill-fitting Reuben shirts that have shrunk because they got them six years ago. I I'll be genuinely surprised if I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to happen is like I want to be condensed into a little mic on or something. That's what we thought happened. And then you, I get get put in a, a USB stick, and then someone puts me on the internet, and then I'm on the internet forever. I'll be like floating around. An episode of Captain the Vampire that happens. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, I, I, the best way I do of writing material is go, Jamie, what have you come up with recently? What do I play? What do I play? <laughs> and I go, this, it's easy, look, finger there, now this, so have you got it? And then we do that five times and then we stop. Come on, it's easy, like that. And everyone goes, oh, oh, and it's easy, yeah, so we do it. Pack up. <laughs> Let's pack up. Pack up. I, We're no, finished now, can't we? I, I don't really, I haven't written any songs for a long time, actually, so I can't really remember. I think... We were usually, we used to write them on tour. We were practicing a lot of the songs that have just gone on this um, third, fourth album uh, on the Billy Tennant tour. But we generally hate playing so much these days that we just kind of do the one song and fuck off. <laughs> That's it. So uh, I don't know, I'll let you know. I have a little computer at home. Who would win in a fight? Batman or Spider-Man? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Every time, Batman against who? It's Batman. It's win, Batman, Obviously. Yeah. It's like... like in the yeah, film, I agree. Like, th not really talk about the films, but talk about the films. Like, he goes, he's got his spider senses. He only uses them once, and then he seems to neglect to remember that he has them. And when bad things are going to happen, it still happens. His spidey senses don't seem to kick in. And Batman's always on form. In the movies, in the comics, in the TV show, especially the 60s TV show, always important. <laughs> well, it depends on which versions you're talking about. Would the 60s TV show Batman pair off quite as well against the late 70s, 70s <laughs> film spot? The, the backwards, the backwards. Uh, <laughs> With the big they, white eyes. The rope coming out. That's a different thing that you're talking about there. But that wasn't what you meant. Batman. Batman, no. He's, He's got a car. He's got a car and a belt. And a jet ski and a plane and a boat. Batman's powers include car. Belt, jet ski, butler, butler. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Uh, Thank you very Thank much. You.
Brilliant. Can we stop now?